morning. Oops. Testing. Alright, mic seems to work. Alright, um, good morning. Well, just browsing the uh, Final Fantasy XIV forums and uh, bought a forum topic here that kind of hit close to home. Having gone through this uh, for about four and a half years back when I was playing WoW. And plus, uh, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. So I figured <clears throat> well, now it's about as good a time as any. So, uh, by Virgil204. And like always, I don't, I'm not trying to call out or embarrass or expose or any anybody like that. Um, it's just, it's easier for me to talk it out than to type it out. So, uh, which, tell already the title's kind of flawed. It isn't just, uh, right here, tier range DPS. I know you're impatient to do P DPS and can't wait to start a fight to do crazy damage. Good, that's how a DPS should be. Going ahead of the tanks and pulling all the tank will catch up with you. Okay, um. Already the title's kind of flawed. I've seen all I've seen all three different roles doing that crap. Not just the ranged DPSers, I've seen melee DPSers, and I've seen healers do it too. So it's not just the range guys. But, but uh, you're playing a while for four and a half years. Uh, I I saw that a lot. It was one of the things that uh, really put me off of tanking. Ah, uh, just part of a lot of the reason why was uh that that game did not have level sync like this game does. So you could you could out gear content by as much as a hundred high levels. So, everybody thought might makes right and they could just go ahead and take liberties on the tank, you know. We don't need you, tank. We can solve this without you, so we're just going to pull for you. you know? I've said it before, I'll say it again. Douchebaggery scales with eye level. Because I don't... Because, uh, back when I was wrong... Because, back when I was playing WoW, if, if that player was crap geared, very rarely... Very rarely did I have one that pulled for me. It was always the overgeared ones that did it. Um, but um, I think I've said this before as well. Um, I've never, I've never had players, I've never had players in crappy gear tell me they could solo content in crappy gear. It's always the overgeared ones that do it. You know, I've never had, I've never had, you know. Shit geared players, unenchanted gear, oftentimes the incorrect gear sit there and go, go oh, I can solo this with my naked white mage. I mean, I've never heard them say it. It's always a raid geared wants to do it. So, for if that makes any sense at all. But I'll just continue on. After all, what a useless tank is up on, so I'll just keep you. Which I definitely agree with them. Doesn't give you the doesn't give you the right to be a douchebag. I don't know what relevance that is. Okay, nope. Nope. Nope, you don't do this. Um, first and foremost, the, the people that are doing this kind of crap have probably heard it before. They've probably seen their fair share of uh, tanks getting all moral, taking the moral high ground and calling a bunch of noobs and whatnot. Um, again, I don't, I very, in my experience, I very, very, very rarely saw this. Um, an occasional melee DPS are here, you know, just run up and try to pull off them and watch the healer sitting here wasting his mana, or, or let me rephrase that. In early content, it's next to impossible to run out of mana, so I'm having to watch the healer just sitting here constantly spam heal that, that one, that one polar or whatever that was taking a whole ton of damage, you know, because it was way ahead of me, you know, that kind of thing. But that stuff like that is super rare. But oh, oh, let me go back to this. I wasn't done. But no, the last last thing you want to do is just stand there and complain. Like I said, they probably heard it before and they don't care. This is especially true back in WoW. I mean. 
mean, it's kind of, they, they, um, they can't really hear you through the sound of all the massive DPS they're doing because they all care the dungeon, you know. So, your words are just going to fall on deaf ears. So, as far as uh, just standing there watching, um, it's a waste of time. Like I said, healer, I mean, unless the healer is out of with them or the healer may just not sim simply may not know better and just keeps them healing up. You know, I, it, it's pointless to just stand there and watch them. Um, what else? I'll just continue on. And now he starts to scream and complain about not being a good tank. Slow on the pole or not, you know, gone through that. Um, not much you can, again, not much you can do. And again, in this game, I can't even remember the last time it's, hap it's happened. Level sync keeps everybody in check. Um, oh, I do have to rephrase. I do, re I do recall now. Um, one time I ran a, it was some level 50 dungeon. It was required for a scholar quest. I did have players pulling for me, so it was reminiscent of a WoW dungeon. So in that one there, I don't remember. I don't remember what I said, if if anything. Um, it was my very first time being there. I don't. I remember one of them telling me that, oh, hey, you know, hey, keep up, or Dodberry's gonna kill you, or something like that. But no one really explained anything. They just, you know, it just steamrolled on from point A to point B. But which again. Again, those level 50 slash level 60 dungeons are just like WoW dungeons. They, um, the eye level sink on them is too generous, if it even exists. So, those I avoid, which would probably be my piece of advice, too. Instead of just standing there getting mad and, you know, just, <clears throat> you know, pulling the lower lip and all that, just don't, just don't run them. I mean, that... That would be my that would be my big, all reliable answer on there. If you don't like running with douchebags, don't run the content. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's. I mean, unless it's part of an unless it's part of an S. Excuse me. Unless it's part of an MSQ, like if it's a dungeon that you have to run in order to progress in the storyline, then don't run them. You know, if it's optional, if you don't want to have to deal with the crap, don't don't run it. Don't you know? Don't pop in there knowing full well what the potential what you're going to be dealing with and then you actually end up having to deal with it and then getting all mad about it that's your fault that's not the fault of the uh or that's less the fault of the guys pulling for you as it is your own i mean it's like the old saying goes fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me i mean that the fault is on your shoulders not theirs so that'd be my advice on that one um or or an option B, option B, just drop. You know, don't. Um, I believe you, but that said, I. I think you should at least say something. You know, not. Don't get you know, don't get pissy. Don't just get off snooty and like, well, you know, like. What did I probably uh back when I was playing WoW, I probably would have said something like. Well, hey, Mr. Raid Gear Tank, if you could solo this whole fucking dungeon, no point in me being here. I'm gone. And just, and just drop group. That's it. But I didn't stand there and constantly harangue the rest of the group. You know, what a bunch of assholes they are. And, you know, just calling them every name in the book. I mean, I don't need the extra stress. I mean, and they probably couldn't give two shits about it because of all the damage they're doing. Hell, by the time... I'm such a slow typer. By the time I actually get my statement typed out... They're probably at the next boss, so. <sighs> Honestly, I don't care. The pleasure I gain from seeing you eat the dirt is way too... Uh-uh. You're, you're in the wrong line of work, pal. And I'm guessing this guy's a fairly new forum poster. It's only got 15 posts. But... If you're in, if you're in a dungeon, you're there to run the dungeon, not to see people die on you. This I agree with. No, on the other hand, this I do agree with. That's why you're there. That's why I'm there. 
I want to be the one that does the polls. I want to be the one that sets the table for the other three guys. I'm the one. I want to be the offensive lineman. I'm the one. I want to be one that clears the path for the running back to get to run to daylight. Same thing here. I want to be the one that pulls the monster, gets them all on me, sets them all up for the other three guys to kick ass and take names. That's why I'm there. So that, I mean, if I didn't want to do this, I wanted to join up to begin with. And Final Fantasy never played this, but as stated before, I played this for four and a half years. Uh, give about five to ten seconds to start of the fight. Uh, in the in this game here, I could kind of see it, but again, when you're playing WoW and where everybody else grossly out cares the content, there's no point in even doing that. Because if you're undergeared and they're overgeared, all the I mean. All the pushing, all the buttons in the world, they gotta get the threat back to you. They've got it, so. But, uh, usually, whatever, typically, whenever I DPS, for the most part, it, it oftentimes depends on the tank, but usually, what I like to do, if I run the, this is especially true if I run the dungeon enough times to know what who the casters are, who the rangers are. Who to, you know, who to fight, not to fight, and whatnot. Usually I'll let the tank just kind of get everything set up, get everything situated, you know, let himself get settled in, and then go in and do it. That, as far as a uh, strict 5, 10 seconds or anything, I don't do that. I know, um, back in WoW, probably a uh, vanilla WoW, possibly the first expansion after that, you had to wait for three Sunders. Um... I mean, I think all the tank classes had a move called Sunder Armor. You had a, I don't, I think it all lower their um, lower their armor or lower their defense by like ten percent, stacked up to three times or something like that. But that was um, but that was when you had to wait till you you jumped in and attacked. see me in a group as tank and you pull them off or group mobs from me my race is consistent I will let you die again in this game here that's a bad call again if you're if you're the if you queue up as a tank you should tank either you tank you tank or you drop but don't don't get snoot don't get snooty about it and sit there I'm just gonna let you tank that little little pissy douchebag Man, I wanna watch you die. You know, it doesn't it doesn't work. It's it's bad ethics. I think that's the correct word for it. I mean, because again and again, from a from an actual gameplay perspective, unless uh unless the healer is in on it with you, like yeah, I'm not gonna heal him up either. You know, you know, and you got both players standing there and letting the DPS or die, you know. Maybe I can see it, but again, more often than not. The healer probably doesn't have a clue as to what's going on. The healer's probably there just to run a dungeon too. You know. I mean, taking the moral high ground slows the run down. I mean, letting him die and having a resume or he has to run back or whatever, that slows the run down. So yeah. I kinda forgot what I was talking about. I got a lot of loss there, so. Um But basically Don't let them die, just up and fly. Uh, but, like I always do, I'll just go on down the post and I'll just comment on them. I'm anticipating a lot of this is just going to be an echo chamber. But, Enigma, I have no idea who he is. Goes over my head. Dear OP, please go home, you're drunk. Um... Uh, you know, to be fair, he does have kind of a valid point. He does mirror a lot of the issues that I have. I mean, because he's probably like me. It's very, very, very frustrating and infuriating when DPSers do this to me. It, 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 you know, I'm one of those that tanks because he enjoys it. Not just for the fast queue time. So, you're taking food off my table is what you're doing. So, so I want 
I definitely want to agree with that statement. But again, maybe she too thinks he's a Digma, whoever he is. Your only good point in these threads. DPS, please don't pull ahead of your tank. I totally agree with you. Yep. It's very disrespectful. Um. I'm I'm assuming he's making a blanket statement on that. Uh, Silver Ob Silver Obi, because um, I know, I know in the early early dungeons like Sat Sasha. Copper Bell Mines, I think, was another. Um, paladins don't have a... I know up until a level 40, Paladins don't have a tank stance. So, they're, real, they're really going to struggle. Like, I know when I was tanking, I pretty much had to blow my whole MP bar. I'm just constantly flashing, just to maintain aggro. But, uh, later on, when you get a tank stance, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say they can... I don't, again, we're probably, uh, I would say uh, it's not that easy. The short answer, it's not that easy to hold aggro. I mean, a mediocre tank, um, if you're talking like, I mean, I think his idea of mediocre and my idea of mediocre are probably two different things. I think a mediocre tank has nothing but NQ gear and maybe some, uh, maybe some, uh, some of the wrong gear, like maybe he's got a, intelligence on some of his gear or something. I've seen tanks do that. Like some of them have dexterity, some of them have intelligence. They ain't gonna hold they ain't gonna hold hate more often than not. We have to stand and wait until he actually gets something going because he's so poorly geared. Um I don't have much of I don't have I mean me personally I don't have much of a problem holding aggro but I try to keep my tanks geared up too. Like, like, all of it crapped at HQ gear, all of it fully melded with whatever kind of secondary stat, or kind, whatever kind of secondary stat that's important to him. So, but I'm not like most people. Most people are just in a mad rush straight to 70. So they're just gonna put on whatever, whatever gear they got readily available from quests or whatever sheep on the market boards or whatnot, whether it be. Dexterity gear or intelligence gear. So. Um. I guess. Like I said, I don't. I don't go by a strict exact set of time. I usually. I usually hang back and wait for the tank to pull everything. Get everything set up. And if it looks like he's ready. To, if it looks like he's all settled in. Then I jump in. But I don't. If that's 5 to 10 seconds. I don't know. When did you play WoW the last time? Not yet raid bosses. You give the tank five plus seconds. He pulls. Time he gets. Okay. Um. This is only with all things being equal. Um. With everybody's gear level being around the same. Then yeah, he should be able. To, he should be able to hold aggro the moment he pulls it starts his rotation. But uh, again, if you're running a normal dungeon, one of the lower lower tier end game content where chances are the tank might be super under geared the people that he's running with are over geared he's he's gonna he's gonna need all the time he can get um let me think but um these days in wow tanks have uh such humongous threat bonuses then yeah that but that's the you shouldn't have a problem holding arrow but that's the only reason why uh he pulled why let me highlight it he pulls that's all the time he gets the only reason why why it, that's the rule is because of such a huge threat threat bonuses that tanks have that's it i mean it should be even if he was buck naked he ought to be able to hold that on us raid gear folk no not at all And I agree with this guy too. Um, but again, 
like I like I said before, I don't. Like I said, I got my own way about working with a tank. I don't know if it's a strict five to ten seconds or whatever. And me and Kit Fox are in agreement on that. I mean, that's what I was looking for earlier. I mean, a DPS or a healer pulling for you is pretty petty. But then again, so it's just standing there and hoping they die. I mean, that shit's petty too. I mean, two rocks don't make a right. If that's the correct phrase to use. If you're not at least trying, you're part of the problem. Yes. Again, I would, I mean, I'm, and I'm, I'm like this too. I mean, and um, now that I thought about it, I have absolutely no problems being kicked from a dungeon for no reason. You don't even have to explain to me. If I'm causing that much of an issue, just kick me. I mean, I, I would rather you just kick me and be done with it than get all stressed out, you know, over what a bad tank I am having to sit here, type stuff out and getting all angry about it. You know, spare yourself some stress and just boot me. I, mean, I ain't got a problem with it. I mean, I can always find something else to do for 30 minutes. That was that was that was another that was another phrase I used to use a lot back when I played WoW. I would rather be a 30 minute deserter than a 10 minute figurehead. I mean, if there's no point in being there, I'm I'm gone. I have to matter. Then this is he pretty much said this guy here pretty much said what I was trying to explain. I adjust to the tank. I don't have a strict five to ten second wait period yep I agree with her too I, again to again I said it before um two wrongs don't make a right I mean people pulling for you is pretty petty but then again just standing there hoping they die is pretty lame too Oh, wow, okay. Guess that's it. Man, what time does this guy start? Or what? What well, today at 5.53 a.m.? That's pretty interesting, because usually uh, threads like these go into pages upon pages. Because it, it is a pretty big hot button issue. I mean, especially back when I played WoW, um, there were threads that popped up like this constantly. Because that, that was the issue. I mean... Everybody out geared the content. A newbie tank goes in there, you know, just barely geared for whatever he's running. And you now you got raid gear players running it for him, you know, treating him like it doesn't exist. You know, piss, you know, ticks him off to, you know, ticks him off to no end. So he comes on the forums and complains because you can't complain to the, you can't complain to your local community. They don't give two shits about it. Oh well, okay, good. <clears throat> oh well, we all care the content, man. Suck it up, Buttercup. You know, yeah, 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 that's not a. I mean, that's not helping the new guy at all. So, yeah, of course he's going to come to the forums. You know? And personally, I think that's one of the things that contributes to the toxicity of the community. You know, it's the cynicism that builds up because of it. Nobody really helps him. You know, nobody... You know, and everybody just blows him off and... You know, well, not my problem. You know, so... So, yeah, I... That said... I'd probably say um, the community in Final Fantasy XIV must be a lot better than WoW. I mean, if, if this is all there is for the threat, well, like I said before, usually tons of people get in here and complain, and it often goes back and forth. Oh well, get good. Or, oh well, get geared up. You know. So yeah, this, is, this community's got to be way better than WoW's. Oh, okay. Um, well... I don't think there's not much more I can say about this thread, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, oh, and plus, uh, I still gotta hit the shower yet, and I'm gonna have to lay down too, so I'm gonna be streaming probably roughly 7.30ish, and I have to work tonight, so I guess I'll cut it off here. Thanks for watching.